Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So you all like the last, uh, you know, try to trick Adam that I thought that's I'd fine. do another it's one. Blind beers. It's oh, not blind called, beers, not try not to trick try someone. Track. Oh, that's right. That sounds kind of, you know, like I'm trying to really make them look fast. stupid. No. <laughs> um, this one I picked for a reason, but we'll get to it in a little bit. Uh, blind for Adam. We'll talk about it as usual sure. and let him get into it. All right, so our pour is just a nice dark. I mean, mm -hmm. I can't see much of anything around the edges on that one. Tan head holds the glass yeah, pretty well. Decent amount of carb, but yeah. not overly carbonated. All right, All right. let's the get nose. the nose. Mm. I mean, it's, it, it smells like chocolate covered raisins to me. I mean, I okay. get this big sweet chocolate and this uh, kind of dark raisiny fruit aroma. Okay. Mm, fudgy smelling. That. Oh yeah, man. kind of a sweet chocolate. Okay. Sweet yeah. chocolate, yes. Yeah, I can't. Very desserty, fudgy. I don't. I mean, I can't lead you because that would be no fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, get anything else? Mm, maybe some coconut in there. Any adjuncts? If it's, I mean, maybe like a coconut, vanilla, maybe. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, let's try it. I'm mm. Cheers. Interested. Cheers. Cheers. I like that a lot. Yeah. Definitely nice. sweet chocolate. All right. I get this creamy flavor that is milky. Um, sometimes is. with like a, like I said, with like a coconut vanilla, it can kind of come off that. Okay. Um, some roast now in the back of my, uh, just mild roasted uh, malt in the back of my mouth right now. I'm going to be rude and look up what's actually in it because unfortunately it's not listed on the check-in so mm. i'm gonna see if i can find it real quick i get some heat right there it's good temperature it does really good heat, doesn't it i get a little burn on the back of the throat right as it hits it mm. again it's like sweet semi-sweet chocolate because there is a little bit of bitterness I, i'm i'm count i'm guessing that's from the roasted malt but mainly sweet like bittersweet uh milk chocolate and this like i said like this milky creaminess to it um see I bet it's under hmm. something else could definitely have lactose in it I mean it's sweet okay and it almost has that that kind of lactose sugar flavor to it hmm yeah I don't it doesn't come off if there is coconut I'm going back it doesn't come off as like straight coconut sometimes when there's subtle coconut with vanilla or you know it can have that subtle um, but it's more of just kind of this it could be vanilla it's 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 almost more of just this milky sweetness, and it may just be lactose that I'm getting. Uh, um, mm. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's mm. got that in it or not. Um, probably should have looked before we started the video, but mm. too late now. Yeah. We'll look it up later, or you can tell us. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll guess. Um, all right, so as far as ABV, uh, you did mention you thought it was a little hot. I agree. It's I know what the ABV is, and I think it's a little hot for how it comes off. I was going to say 10, 11 percent. Um, okay, it's 9.5. Okay. Um, but it, it tastes a little hotter, mm -hmm. and maybe that's what they're going for. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. So I do agree mm -hmm. it's got a, a sweetness to balance the roastiness. Um, so barrel aged or not? And if so, what kind of barrels? Yeah, I think so. Maybe some rum barrels. Okay. That sweetness, that sugariness. Uh, it's not rum barrels, but I see why you'd say that because mm. it's got some sweetness to it. Okay. Um, and you're probably well, maybe playing the that with the booziness too yeah. is being rum, but okay. I'm wondering, I, I mean, I'm probably going to go through the whole thing before we, but maybe with that raisin nose I was getting, could it be like a red wine barrel? Oh, that's a good thought. Yeah. Um, it's not, but I mean, it's, oh, for two. <laughs> it's okay. Not many types of barrels left. No, Actually, there's I mean, a ton of types of barrels left, but not ones that we typically get. I mean, I don't get like, you know, I'm thinking of the outside bourbon, you know. Okay. Um, if it's outside bourbon, I mean, or whiskey. Um, it is, it's bourbon barrel. It aged. is bourbon barrel. Okay. Um, what they added probably made it a little bit sweeter and to me almost masks the barrels just a little bit, although I think the nose kind of, to me, lends that it's a barrel, a bourbon barrel aged beer. Yeah. So it's yeah. got to me. It's got that that toastiness, that uh, a little bit of vanilla, and mm -hmm. I, I see why you'd say coconut too, because mm -hmm. the sweetness plus the toastiness. Mm -hmm. I mean that that would kind of make you think of coconut, but mm. it doesn't have coconut in it. Gotcha. So I think that's from the barrels. Gotcha. 
Uh, what about the base beer? It's kind of hard to tell through all the other stuff. I mean, I'm just guessing it's either a stout or a milk stout. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be a drier stout. So uh, I had no idea what you were wearing today, but look at your shirt. It's, it's not from Guinness, but it's, you know. All right. This is awesome. So what would you give it? Uh, four, three, three, four, three. three. Okay. Um, should have paid more attention to my taste instead of. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, borderline four five. I really yeah, enjoy it. I'm almost to a four five. Yeah. I can't quite get there, so I think four three three is reasonable. But mm -hmm. it's definitely better than a four two five for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but not quite a four five. Almost. Uh, maybe for the style it is. I don't know. So, I just came back from Cincinnati, so I had to get something from Listerman. Okay. Um, and this is not. A triple digit, so that this is not <laughs> <laughs> um, well. It's you know the triple digit has to do with the starting, um, the starting gravity, and uh, but anyway. So this is called the Imperial Shamrock Shake. It's an Imperial Irish Cream Stout Thanks, aged man. in bourbon barrels. Um, and they also have an Irish Cream Stout that I think it's just Shamrock uh, Shamrock Shake that has non-alcoholic uh, uh, the. I think it's got non-alcoholic filler in it, uh, the, the typical Irish stuff, you know, the Irish cream. So that's probably what's adding the sweetness. I definitely, get the, I get, I definitely get the creaminess. I kept okay. getting that creaminess over and over. You got on the nose, you know. Yeah, you do. It was, like I said, that's kind of milky creaminess to it. Um, bourbon, I mean, I wasn't 100%, but I, I was guessing barrel age. And the Irish thing, if I would have said Imperial Irish cream style Asian bourbon barrels, then... Yeah, I would have. That would have been. Uh, I would have yeah. said it's time for the next level. <laughs> it's time for me to retire. No, but I definitely. Uh, I still. I agree. I mean, everything I said, I, I definitely get that. I mean, it doesn't taste dry at all to me. It doesn't. I, and I mean, it may not be going for dry. It may just be going for like Irish coffee type. Right. You I, know, without I assume the coffee. that's what they're trying yeah. to go for. But you know, the bottom line is um, the sweetness from the non-alcoholic Irish cream mm -hmm. really adds to it. Yeah. Blends. Yeah. Really blends well. Um, there's nothing else that tells anything about what yeah. else is in it. I really like the color of the mm -hmm. bottle, but anyway, I, I think, think the, really I think the the cream really stands out on this, and it's good. It's nice, sweet. Uh, it's a nice sweet stout. Um, I, I like it. I drink a lot of this. I would yeah. get more bottles of it. It's good. Um, it just so happens I did. Ah, look at there. Well um, done. But the bottom line is, I, I think it for what it's supposed to be um, an Irish cream stout. I mean. Assuming that they actually did like the regular Shamrock Shake and added um, non-alcoholic Irish cream to it, it's it's really good. Yeah, uh, it blends well with the roastiness from you know the typical base, uh, but I don't think we'd know that it was an Irish, mm. you know, the, the typical dry stout. Whew. But and maybe it wasn't. Maybe yeah. they just add the Irish because of the Irish cream. But yeah. man, I, I I like it a lot. Highly drinkable, Four as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> good thing I got more bottles. Yeah. <laughs> Anything <laughs> else? As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have.